there, this is Chris coming to you from my studio in Auburn, California on High Street. I just wanted to um, create a short little video today to show you some of the images I've made recently from some very iconic concrete sculptures that we have in Auburn that a lot of people driving through have no idea about. And um, they're all public art, so they're in public areas. Anybody can see them. They're just off the freeway. And they were all created by a local dentist named Dr. Ken Fox, who died at the end of last year. And um, he started off making an enormous, uh, colossal concrete statue of a naked man outside his dentist office. And this was back in the 60s. So you can imagine there was a little bit of... Uh, controversy over that, shall we say, and online they, they report that they had to reroute the school buses um, because they didn't want the kids seeing the statue. And so uh, after that, he created some beautiful statues of these gorgeous Amazon women. And also um, he did this Chinese laborer working on the railroad. Uh, obviously the Chinese American population was just absolutely critical in the development of the railroads that run throughout all our Sierra Nevada gold rush towns. And then um, finally, the city, the city of Auburn commissioned him, as I understand it, to do uh, a statue of Claude Ghana, or Ghana, who is the first known um, gold prospector in the area, found gold in the area. So that's, that's the most obvious statue. It's right off the freeway. So without further ado, I'm going to give you a little more information and um, show you some of these really cool, unusual, now very iconic images. shoot the collection of statues that's outside what was Dr. Fox's dentist office. Um, the sun was high in the sky and really bright and so um, of course they were very contrasty. So I figured I would probably process these in black and white because that would really take advantage of the strong black and white contrasts. And as I was shooting, you know, the archer and the woman with the spear especially, I thought, wouldn't it be interesting if I somehow tied in the sun? I'm a big fan of starbursts and things that you can create with uh, nice small apertures. You know, F, even F11 sometimes you get the starbursts, but more likely I usually do F16, I think. And I thought, what if I tied that into the image somehow to make it a little bit different? As if there's, a, uh, you know, some sort of communication or relationship there between something that's up in the sky symbolized by this star because these figures are so like primal sort of and um, I just thought yeah I want the sun to be in there as this other sort of primal element and um, most powerfully I think the shot that worked the best with that was the um, the man with his arms in the air the imprisoned man with the shackles I wanted there to be a real sense of him crying out to the universe not just the sky but that there's this sun and the way I shot it just the refract refract refraction of the light you know you can see it kind of connects to him and I just thought those kind of turned out well I was pretty happy with those You know, we don't often think about public art existing outside of cool downtown areas or maybe suburban developed mall areas. And so part of what I love about Dr. Fox's statues is that they exist within very, um, very modest surroundings, if you will. You know, little small buildings in a small semi-rural community in the foothills. And I think they're awesome.